This is the moment of truth for Mark Oswald. He can win it all right here. A world championship is within his grasp. And his opponent, Ed McCullough, right now just hoping and praying that the engine change was made successfully. Paul, they love to tell you that all of these engines are alike, but usually it takes at least one run to tune up a new motor. Well, there's plenty to worry about when you bring them to the line for Oswald. It could be a world championship. McCullough comes out hard, but now it's Oswald as he screams toward the world championship, and he's done it. Mark Oswald wins the round, wins the world championship with a 5.79. The late Paul Candies, as the old saying goes, felt the need for speed. Thanks to one of the most successful drag racing partnerships in history, Candies and Hughes, Paul Candies is honored with Hall of Fame membership this evening. This honor to Paul Candies is much more than an individual honor. Uh, he was head and shoulders above the rest of any other person in the sport of drag racing in the history of Louisiana. So it's an honor not only for Paul and for his family, but for every drag racer in Louisiana. And it's only fitting that Paul Candies would be inducted into the Louisiana Sports Hall of Fame. Candies showed his business sense with his father's business, that he helped make one of the country's largest marine transportation companies. He did the same thing in drag racing attracting big sponsors and more money for his company and the sport. Paul was a very generous person and as I mentioned, did not seek any recognition. One of his favorite charities was the Drag Racing Association of Women, which Paul helped to establish. That organization, organization assists uh, injured racers and their families, and he was very active for many, many years. Uh, Paul was a personal uh, mentor to me and to my brother, Glenn Menard, who was also involved in drag racing for many years, and uh, I was very, very proud to have known him. And win was what Candies and Hughes did, often. 45 major wins between 1970 and 1994, including 28 NHRA titles. Paul's accomplishments are unmatched by any other drag racer in Louisiana history. He was a remarkable man. He loved his family, he loved his racing community, and he truly loved the state of Louisiana. So this honor, although it's going individually to Paul Candies, is for all drag racers in the state of Louisiana. And it is beyond fitting that Paul Candies be inducted into the Louisiana Sports Hall of Fame. Candies also loved to fish. His father Otto started the Grand Isle Turf and Rodeo in the 1930s. Son Paul took over in the 1960s and helped it become the annual event that draws more than 15,000 fishermen and tourists to the tiny island off the Louisiana Gulf Coast. Paul Candies took over in the 1960s and he just kind of, the rodeo just blew up when he took over. It's the oldest competitive fishing tournament in the United States and a lot of that, the reason why it's going so strong is because of Paul Candies. And he's known as the granddaddy of the Tarpon Rodeo and it's a name that really fits because he really helped this rodeo expand to just more than a regional, than a local regional tournament. People from all over the country come over to Grand Isle to fish in this tournament. 